Jane and Martin are in the front garden, in their car, getting friendly. The driving seat from writer-director Phil Lowe is a funny, bittersweet film about a wife who chooses love over excitement and the husband who lives with the burden of disappointing oh, her. False alarm, I thought it was the postman. It's too early for the postman. It wasn't a great idea to stay in the driveway. It's you that said if there wasn't an element of danger, we might as well be in the bedroom. Well, I'd forgotten about the postman. I told you, he doesn't come until after 12. God, neither will we at this rate. Janie D said just a couple of pages of the script hooked her into playing Jane. When I read it, with some reservation, because I saw the first scene, you know, snogging in the car and he's, what he's doing, and... And I thought, oh no. And I started, I was on the tube, I was reading it. And then I think I turned the page and within two pages I was laughing out loud. So yeah, I think, I thought at the end of the tube journey, I don't laugh out loud on the tube very often. <laughs> so yeah, I think that was why I wanted to do it. Also, I related to it. For producer Alexi Slater, it was a chance to make a short comedy that just doesn't play like your average suburban sitcom. There's a little, t not to give too much away, there's a little tonal change about halfway into the script. So although it's in one location, it just changes, it goes a bit beneath the surface after the initial um, introduction, which is really funny. So, and I think with the best short films, they do a lot in a short space of time. So this hopefully is going to just get into these characters a bit deeper and give you some more suggestions about what they're about in a really short space of time and leave the audience just thinking about it. James Laley is Martin, the faithful husband who has to live with the burden of his wife's disappointment. My sense is that Martin has always slightly struggled in the bedroom department, one way and another. And I think the great thing about the script is that that sort of the power dynamic that exists within within every sort of marital relationship is really sort of beautifully explored you know and it comes out and you see so many different angles of that and that kind of sense of but yes i think um i think in other ways martin is a really first class husband Filming a couple effectively playing out their relationship in a family saloon on a public street certainly presented cinematographer Adrian Brown with some technical challenges. Even though the actors are quite close together in that they're in the car the whole time, there are times when we want them to feel distant and apart and so actually coming in from the side on a wide lens and being quite close to one of them and having them in a big close-up but the other one even though they're just a few feet away from them they're actually seen from waist up actually shows a greater amount of separation than what you certainly see with the human eye um, and that tells a story when when the, 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 the moment in the film where things get a little frosty between the, the two protagonists. But there are other times when it's much closer and getting quite passionate where we want to actually feel tighter and closer in. Dreams aren't often made in suburbia. They're just quietly parked. Action. But writer-director Phil Lowe's The Driving Seat manages to show us a lot about the marriage journey. I started writing it as a, as a comedy and it, you can't get very far with that idea as a comedy because it, it becomes simply about the mechanics of you know his knee won't work properly and or what if somebody sees them. And I, would, I just carried on working at it and, and I, I took it to a, a workshop group, some other script writers that I, I'm in a workshop group with and it, the more I worked on it, 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 it became clear that there was something something quite deeper and I mean, not darker exactly but there was some richness in this theme that if we started it as a comedy but then played it out you know in, in the manner of a, a an Alan Akebourne play or something where you start with the laughs and then actually you realize there's something quite serious going on it was when I got to that point that I thought actually I really want to make this okay good all right thank you everyone <laughs>